Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here. What's up, Steven? What's up, Sean Sr.? What's up, Anthony Sagama? Q's Reviews. Hey, y'all. Happy face. Quentin, love your Halloween 2 uh, logo there. Looking dope. Has it always been Halloween too, or did you recently just change that? I can't remember. Let me know in the chat. Did you just recently change your profile pic there to the Halloween 2 skull pumpkin? Please let me know. We got four people watching. We got one thumbs up. Thanks, my man. Just changed it. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. I just noticed things. We got five people watching. We only got three thumbs ups. If you're one of the five people watching that has yet to smash that like button, please do so now. And uh, let me know. How's my audio? Check, check one, check two. Can you hear me good? Check, check, check. Sean Sr. says it sounds good. We got no power to the fan. We got power to the fan. <gasps> oh. All right, we got power to the fan. I'm not going to sweat, so I'm okay. Quentin says, here you good. Send more paramedics is in the house. Welcome, Ant, to my live stream. What's up, Bill? Nothing much. What's up with you? Let me know in the chat. What's up with you? Let the world know, because I will read it. We're showing off Ultimate NECAs today, guys, so I hope you like Ultimate NECAs. We got some bonus NECAs to show off that aren't really Ultimates, but in my eyes, they are Ultimates. Night Fright Talk Show, smiling face with teeth, thumbs up, up. Anthony Sagama, today is my 35th birthday. Everyone in the chat, wish Anthony a happy birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Anthony. 35, that's awesome. Still nice and young. Enjoy it while it lasts. Everyone in the chat, show Anthony Sagam awesome birthday love. 35th birthday, that's amazing. Sean Sr. says happy birthday. Quentin says happy birthday. Eh. Anthony says thanks, brother. Night Fright Talk Show says happy face with teeth. Point. Happy birthday, still young, lol. Marcel says happy birthday. Yeah, he's still young. I got him beat by 12 years. 
12 years older than Anthony. You'd Wish Best is in the house. Please, everyone, go check out You'd Wish Best's channel. She has amazing stuff on her channel and does crazy live streams with people singing. You won't believe what you'll find over at You'd Wish Best. So go visit You'd Wish Best. Hit that subscribe button and show her some love. Anthony Sagama says, I feel like I'm 75 years old, LOL. Shane Bleer Year Year says, hey there. What's up, Shane? Thanks for swinging on by. You'd Wish Best says, at night, bright talk show. Hello. You'd Wish Best says, hee hee hee. Thanks, Phil. I tell you, six minutes, we haven't even showed off one ultimate. But I'm going to show you NECA Ultimates today. Yes, I am. Send more paramedics says, I just ordered a limited edition Exorcist poster print from Mondo. Mondo posters are amazing. They always appreciate in value. Uh, so yeah, can't really go wrong with Mondo, especially if a poster print of theirs sells out. It does fetch high dollars. You'd wish best says, I have craziness live ever. Night Fright Talk Show says, smiling face with teeth, point at hello, you'd wish best. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, you'd wish best. Hello, hello, Night Fright Talk Show. Hello, hello, Aunt. Hello, hello, Shane. Hello, hello, Marcel. Happy birthday to Anthony. Happy birthday to Anthony. Dave Drew says that's a strange beer mug. That's because it is a coffee mug. Amanda is in the house. She says, hey. <clears throat> Sean Sr. says, dab. Sean Sr. is dabbing. All right, guys. First ultimate of the day. We got 11 people watching. We got eight huge thumbs ups. Make sure if you are one of the people watching to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out with my channel. Horror Fan Dad has arrived. Welcome, Horror Fan Dad. Hello, all you horror fans out there. Mm -mm. Ant says it could be a beer mug. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Sean Sr. says, cry roll laughing. Quentin says, hey, Ricky. Anthony says, I did. DTN2 Horror has arrived. He is in the house. He says, hey, Phil. Quentin says, liked and shared. Eh. All right, here we go, guys. First one up, we got the newish pinhead ultimate Hellraiser. It is ultimate. It is pinhead. It is pinhead. It is ultimate. There is the box right there. And there's the back of the box right there. You can see he has pins in his head. He is pinhead. He has a puzzle box. I wonder what it does. All right, guys. So we got the new pinhead. Here is the figure itself. Quite a nice figure. Not too fussy on the material they used for his cloak. If it's an ultimate, please make it an ultimate and not a retro cloth figure. But there's Pinhead. Comes with a couple puzzle boxes there. Comes with pins. Comes with a head. Comes with a couple heads, actually. 
But yeah, they use this weird material for his cloak. And uh, if it's an ultimate, make it an ultimate. Too much like a retro cloth. But I bought him anyway. I bought him anyway. Because I'll do what I want. Horror fan dad says, hi, Q, wave, happy face. Gary Hedger says, more brains, send more brains. Quentin says, hiya, DTN2, DTN2, horse says, Quentin, how's it going, man? Sinister Syndrome 86, Glenn is in the house. What's up? Been out here killing it. Just tuning in. You're always welcome to tune in, Glenn. I appreciate your arrival. Poor fan dad says, I've been looking for Pinhead, but no luck. Sad face. Quentin says, love this figure. Quentin says, going good, bro, you. Quentin says, hey, you, Glenn. Sean Sr. says, awesome. DTN2 Horror says, careful with those heads. The pins are very fragile. Pinhead will be staying in the box, so his pins will stay safe. Glenn says, hey, Q, Ollie uncut from Germany. Ollie, big thumbs up to you and your channel. Everyone make sure to go check out Ollie's channel. He posts amazing content. He is now a moderator. He says, yo, dudes, hey, film a man, what's up? <coughs> ben Grimm says, non-horror neckas. No non-horror neckas. Glenn says, I'm on lunch break at Target. About to go check them out. Go check out Target. Maybe they got some ultimates. Go pick yourself up a new ultimate. Ultimate. Next, we got OG Pinhead. I think this is the re-release of OG Pinhead since I have two. This is the re-release of Pennywise, played by Tim Curry. Turn back now. Weird hand. You want your boat back, Georgie? Georgie? Meet Pennywise. Pennywise, meet Georgie. There. Now we're not strangers anymore. There's some OG Pennywise. It is Pennywise. He comes with a turn back now balloon. He comes with two alternative heads. A couple alternative hands. An arm coming out of uh, the mirror, I guess it would be. I don't know. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. A couple more hands down here. Pretty good looking figure. Figure. A good looking figure. Uh, Quentin says, OG Pennywise, LOL. Anthony Sagama, my favorite neck figure is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. That is amazing. Quentin says, I know right now I'm going to love every figure you own. Quentin says, hand comes out of book. That's it. DTN2 Horror dropping a soup. Soup. Soup, 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 super chat. DTN2 who are coming in with a super chat, four ninety nine super chat. He says, "Very nice Tim Curry Pennywise impression." Thank you so much, DTN2 horror. I appreciate that four ninety nine super chat. It will definitely go toward my channel. And I appreciate you, and I appreciate your channel. 
And everyone go sub to DTN2 Horse Channel because he is amazing. Amazing. He's amazing. Quentin says picture album. Yes, the brain has worked due to Quentin. I now remember his hand does come out of a picture album. Interweb Kaju says Phil's creepy voices. Ooh, Phil's creepy voices. D Fee from Germany. What is up? D Fee coming in from Germany. He says, hello, Phil. Interweb Kaju says, nice impression. Thank you so much. You'd wish best says at Sinister Syndrome 86. Hello. Sinister Syndrome 86 says hi back. You'd wish best says at DTN2 Horror. Hello. The Q's review says, hey, Interweb Kaju. Happy face. DTN2 Horror says, hello, you'd wish the best. And I don't have a Diet Coke here. I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm freaking out. Freaking out, guys! Freaked out. I'm okay. I got my, my pop. I got it. Diet Coke. Okay, I'm good. Whew. Almost had a stroke there. Whew. Uh, where are we here? DTN2 Horse says, hello, at You'd Wish Best. Interweb Keiju says, hey, at The Q's Reviews. Viscera is here in the house with us today, Viscera. He says, I'm here for a bit. Welcome, Viscera. I'll be on for another hour and a half, probably, so hang out for as long as you'd like. Quentin says, hi, you Viscera. Viscera says, howdy, Q. We're on to the next. Pennywise. This is the OG, OG Pennywise. This is the original OG Pennywise that NECA released from It the Movie 1990 miniseries that was on TV. Pennywise being portrayed by Tim Curry. Seven friends engage in a struggle with the demons they first encountered 30 years earlier in their main hometown. Here's the back of the box. You have Pennywise. You have him standing. You have Creepy. You have what I just read. The side of the box. The other side's the same. It says NECA. And what do we have in this one? We got some different head sculpts. We have the acid burn head there. We got kind of surprise Pennywise there. We got creepy Pennywise there. We got sad, mad Pennywise. We got a whole mess of balloons in the back there. Red, blue, yellow balloon. Red, blue, yellow on the other side. He comes with a lot of balloons. Comes with some alternative hands. Crazy, crazy. There's Pennywise. OG, OG, ultimate. That is what it looks like. If Velcro shut. If Velcro shut. All right, guys, you all know the Velcro shot. Uh, Viscera says, howdy, Q. Viscera says, that's perfect. I'll stay. Sean Sr. says, I have that one. Sean Sr., that's awesome. It's a good one to have. The OG, OG Pennywise. The original OG Pennywise Ultimate. 
Q's Review says, yep, knew I would love these figures. Chris H. Terminator Sci-Fi Collector 87, the person with the longest YouTube channel name ever, says, what up, bro? Not much, Chris. What up with you? Showing off NECA Ultimates, just chilling on a Thursday afternoon. That's what's up. I'm drinking some Diet Coke. Because I'm a Diet Coke-aholic. Yes, I am. Next, we got another Pennywise. This one, I believe, is the... I think it's the GameStop exclusive. It's got a lenticular cover with some glare from my light. First, it's Pennywise. Then it's an I Heart Dairy Balloon. This is, of course, the Bill Skarsgård Pennywise. You see some missing pictures there. Is he missing or has he been found? He has Georgie's arm. Poor little Georgie. Here he is right here. I love Dairy Pennywise. I think this might be called the Well House Pennywise. Not too sure. He comes with Georgie's severed arm there. Poor little Georgie lost his arm. If you look at his one hand there, you get punched in the face. So make sure to not look at that hand right there or you'll get punched in the face. Comes with an alternative head with some blood. Uno momento, por favor. Sorry, guys. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I don't know. They turned off my water today. All oh, hell's breaking loose. You'll float, too. You'll float, too. You'll float, too. You'll float, too. This is yet another Bill Skarsgård Ultimate Pennywise. There he is there. What does it say? It says, seven friends engaged in a struggle with the demon they first encountered 30 years earlier in their main hometown. It says the same thing the uh, OG Pennywise said, which is crazy. What does this one come with? A plain red balloon and some different head sculpts and a boat. Georgie's boat. There he is right there. There's the boat. You see it, you see it. Oh, don't look at that hand right there. You'll get punched. That is, I don't know, just another ultimate Pennywise. Uh, Chris H. Terminator, Terminator Sci-Fi Collector 87 says, showing the good stuff and tasting the good stuff. I'll, I'll like it, brother. I like it, brother. Anthony Sagama says, I'm drinking Coke Zero. Dave Drew says, Coke Zero. DTN2 Horror says, drinking my diet, do. I'm hooked. Viscera says, 
You must love that Trick or Treat t-shirt as much as I do if you wear it almost every time I watch your streams. Do I? Do I really wear it every time? I won't wear it next time. I was actually going to change my shirt and then I didn't. Quentin's review says, I love the cover. This is probably in my top three t-shirts of all time. My favorite t-shirt is the Video Dead. So I do wear the Video Dead t-shirt more. Uh, this is probably top three, maybe second or third. I do love this shirt. Uh, just before dawn, I wear quite a bit. Uh, what's that hell one with, uh, Linda Blair? What's that called? Hell something? Linda Blair, Hell Movie. Uh, Ed, you will see a Trick or Treat NECA Ultimate. Quentin says, love that cover. DTN2 Horse says that Pennywise GameStop was my very first NECA figure. That is awesome, DTN2 Horse. Quentin says, my first and only NECA is a Ultimate 8 bit Freddy from the NES game. That's amazing. Chris H. Terminator Sci-Fi Collector 87 says, You'll float too! You'll float too! <laughs> Ed Espinoza says, I'm extra extracting. I'm expecting a trick-or-treat NECA Ultimate. Uh, I think I have it here. It might be in one of these stacks. If not, I'll try and show it off. DTN2Horror says an emoji that I can't say. Or everyone watching this live stream will get punched. Cause wasting money. Welcome to my live stream. Hey, Phil, my GF and I got the house we wanted. That's amazing. Cause wasting money. Awesome. Ghost Trap. Welcome to my live stream. Welcome to my channel. Ghost Trap. Ghost Trap. Everyone go check out Ghost Trap. I bought a fake Pennywise on Mercari. That's what I get for wanting $10 off. Viscera says, maybe it's just by chance I see you in that one the most. Maybe it is. Dave Drew says, congrats, Kozo. Uh, yeah, congrats on the house cause. That's awesome. Interweb Kaiju says, Hell Knight. My Hell Knight shirt. I love my Hell Knight shirt. Thank you, Interweb Kaiju, for getting Hell Knight. Why couldn't I think of Hell Knight? Man, I am getting old. Cause Wasting Money says, thanks, Dave. And I think this is actually the Wellhouse uh, Pennywise. I don't know. Another Pennywise Ultimate. I think this is the Wellhouse Pennywise, if I'm not mistaken. It's got a house on the front. It says it in the door. It has a red balloon. It says not scary at all. Scary, very scary. On the back, on the doors, it shows some Pikachus. Some Pennywise Pikachus. It has more Pikachus down there. And then inside we have another Pennywise Ultimate. You got a different head sculpt that a pipe goes through or the fence post or whatever it is. You have another head sculpt, a couple head sculpts there of uh, windblown hair Pennywise and gaping mouth Pennywise. You have the werewolf hand, kind of looks like a cow hand or something. I don't know, part cow. A couple other hands there. I don't know. I guess it's werewolf hand. And I guess it is kind of like a fence post that goes through him. Anyways, you can push the fence post through his head. Uh, right. Where is it? Right there. Anyways, you guys get the point. 
You guys aren't slow. You guys are hip to my vibe. Coffin Crew, Crip6, he's in the house. Yo, Phil, what's up, Crip6? Good to see you here. DTN2Horse says, it would be nice if NECA would just release head variants and accessory packs. I agree 100% with that. DTN2Horse says, NECA and Funko have released so many Pennywise variants. Yes, they have. Ed says, that's shirts. Very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love my trick-or-treat shirt. Probably in my top three of favorite shirts. I think I have over 100 horror shirts now, so it's hard to pick. Kind of top three, but I should do a top 10 horror shirt video. I actually should do a all my horror shirt video, but I know it would be a lot of work, and that's why... I have yet to do it. I do have a horror t-shirt video on my channel about a year ago, maybe over a year ago now, where I showed off all my horror shirts at the time, which was 30. And now I'm up over 100, I think. So, and it was hard doing that 30 t-shirt video. So, I love those kind of mashup t-shirts. Yeah, it's a good mashup, Halloween and Trick or Treat. The Night Sam came to town. And then underneath where you think this is the movie credits, it's actually the, the rules. Always wear a costume. Rule number two, always pass out treats. Rule number three, never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Rule number four, Always check your candy. Ghost Trap says, I hope Neck does the Universal Monsters one day. That'd be cool. They're doing Godzilla and King Kong. <laughs> my, 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 my Corona. Ooh, my little pretty woman. Pretty woman, why to give you some of my, my, my corona? All right, enough of that. Friday the 13th, part five. A new beginning. This is the VHS cover version, which is super, super cool. This is obviously fake Jason, a.k.a. Roy. Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. And you get a meat cleaver, you get a spear thing, you get a flare, you get a knife, you get the hedge trimmers, you get a spike, you get the leather strap, you get the twig to wrap the leather strap, you get an alternative hand, and you get a machete. Roy Burns figure. It's Roy from part five, a new beginning. And where's my other part five? Part five dream sequence. Alexander Pinedo. Welcome to my channel channel. Channel? Welcome to my channel. Hello there. Just asking, does music plays a big part in your life, like in horror music? And if so, what kind? Cause in mine, it does. I love the horror ganger for 50 years. Great streaming, like always, Phil. Thank you so much, Alexander. I do like the occasional horror soundtrack from Dust Till Dawn, The Lost Boys, Creep Show, Creep Show 2, House, Trick or Treat, uh, Dream Warriors, 
score soundtracks, uh, Demons from Dario Argento, love that soundtrack. DTN24 says, I heard NECA was losing their license for Godzilla. That's bad. Crip6 says, good little jam, Phil, LOL. Thank you, thank you. DTN2 Horse says, better snag them while you still can. Ed says, Jason is my top one favorite horror movie. That's amazing. Anthony Sagamas says, Friday the 13th, part five, was made in my year. That's awesome. Next, we have Dream Sequence Part 5, where you get the uh, mask from the video cover, and he's covered in worms. You get the split hand. You get a, what is that, like a baster stabber thingy? You get a machete. You get an axe. You get three alternative heads, including the video tape cover head mask which is really cool. You get kind of a axe cut mask there, a dirtier axe cut mask there. There's his mask all covered with worms. Sickening. There's a split hand there. I'm trying to do this without glare, guys. There's a, I don't know, spear, turkey baster, who knows. Machete, machete. And you get a tombstone, Jason Voorhees, a Jason Voorhees tombstone. I do have this one also out of package. I'll just grab that tombstone now. There is the tombstone. It is in a pile of dirt. It has boards on the back. It's still in dirt. It's a tombstone. It says Jason Voorhees. But he's right there. So nice little inclusion of the Jason Voorhees tombstone replica from part five. It does say NECA on the bottom. And uh, yeah. Pretty good quality tombstone. Uh, Q's review says, love that VHS tape cover mask. Me too. Sam Black is in the house. Welcome, welcome, Sam. Afternoon, Uncle Phil. LOL. How are you doing? I am good. And yourself? Is the wife outdoors today or is she indoors? And have you guys moved yet? Like, I got to hear about the move. Sam Black says hi to all in the chat. Hope you are well. Yo! It's your boy, Leo. Says what's up. Yo, it's your boy, Leo. Says hope all is well. Leo, I hope you are well too. I always appreciate your presence in my live stream. Your channel is also awesome. Make sure to go check out Yo, It's Your Boy Leo. You are now modded. And uh, yeah, show him some love. Hit his sub button, yada, yada, yada. Q's Review says, hey there, Sam. Happy face. Star Trekker is in the house. Hello, Phil, saying hi. Hello back, Star Trekker. Everyone go check out Star Trekker's channel. She puts out amazing content and has fantastic live streams. Sam Black says, we is indoors as it is raining. It's a beautiful sunny day here. Interweb Keiju says, what mic do you use? It's called a Zax Sound Condenser Microphone SF666 Pro. Uh... Cheap on Amazon, I think it was $34 for the whole entire set. So it's cheap microphone, but it works good. Uh, Sam Black says, and we are still waiting to move. Always waiting to move. Star Trekker says, thumbs up done. Thank you so much, Star. Yo, it's your boy, Leo. 
She says thank you. DP in Germany says check out Phil's room tour later. My 2020 room tour is now live on my channel. All you got to do is go down about four videos and you'll see 2020 Phil's 2020 room tour. Uh, 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 where are we? DTN two horse says 20 viewers hit that like button. Fox Sea Lady Outdoors says. Hi, Phil. Nope, not moved yet. Waiting for keys. Ed says, hope you're doing good since this corona started. So far, I'm doing fine. Zero corona in my lungs. Sam Black says, hi, Q's Reviews. Q's Reviews says, do you own that 8-bit ultimate Friday the 13th Nez figure he glows in the dark? I do not. Uh, I don't know. Those two, the Jason Nintendo 8-bit purple and teal and the freddy orange and red i never really played the nintendo games and i don't know i just never have grabbed those i actually have no freddy ultimates uh yo it's your boy leo says lol anthony says can you make a shout out for my channel for my birthday please Everyone make sure to go check out Anthony Sagamaw's channel, visit his channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, watch all of his videos, get him some watch time, and uh, while you're there, comment and say, happy birthday. Yo, it's your boy Leo, welcome to the live. Sam Black says, we might be about to back into local lockdown. No, not local lockdown. Halloween Fiend PDX, welcome to my live stream. The glow in the dark one was the SDCC one, and the reissues has the music when you open it. That's amazing. Halloween Fiend PDX says those are the two versions of it. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, No, Sam, gotta move first. Can't move in lockdown. Can't move if you're locked down. You got to wear your mask. Got my Corona mask right here, guys. It protects me from the virus. Because people just stay away from me. They stay away. Just kidding, guys. I wear a normal mask. Q's Reviews says, just subbed Anthony, happy face. Sam Black says, as there had been an outbreak of COVID-19 in a Greg's factory just five minutes up the road from us. Space Whale says, be ill. Anthony Sagama says, was up Halloween Finn PDX, Sam says, in exempt from wearing a mask. Halloween Fiend says, yo, not much, Anthony Sagama. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, could do with one of them to scare the locals. Space Whale says, get it instead of Phil. It's your boy, Leo, is laughing out loud. All right, where are we? Freddy versus Jason. Freddy versus Jason. There is the title. There is Jason. There is no Freddy. There's lots of Jasons. There's Jason with his teddy bear, like my favorite piece in my collection. The Jason on the bed holding the teddy bear. There's Jason. There's Jason. There's Jason. And it says, Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees return to terrorize the teenage population. Exempt this time. They're out to get each other too. Exempt. Except. 
There's Jason. There's a teddy bear. He looks mean. He has fire. He has his machete. He has two. He has legs and feet. He has a coat on. He has a blue shirt. He has a neck. He has a bloody mask. He has an extra mask. And he has a mask on his face. There's the teddy. All right, guys, you get the drift. Freddy versus Jason Ultimate. It's Freddy versus Jason. It's just Jason. Uh, Anthony Sagama, thank you to the Q's reviews. Foxy Lady Outdoors. Yeah, I got a t-shirt on Freddy versus Jason. I have the Freddy vs. Jason t-shirt from Fright Crate, so Fright Crate. Space Whale says, Bill the Anti-Phil. Horror Fan Dad says, okay, I subscribe to Anthony's channel too. Thank you so much, Horror Fan Dad. You're a good person. Anthony Sagama says, thank you, everyone. Q's Reviews says, no problem, my friend. Uh, Anthony Sagma says, I want to get that one next, Phil. Yeah, the Freddy vs. Jason Ultimate is a nice-looking Jason, if you like the look of Jason from Freddy's vs. Jason. Horror Fan Dad says, you're welcome, Anthony. Thumbs up. DTN2 Horror in with another soup, 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 he says, break's over, back to work for me. Take care, Phil, later, everyone. Thank you so much, DTN2Horror. You've been an awesome person today. I appreciate you immensely. Thanks for the two Super Chats. Incredible. Everyone go sub to DTN2Horror because he is worth it. Quentin's review says, take care, DTN2Horror. Sam Black says, you all wouldn't like my t-shirts as they are blasphemous. Blasphemous, I say. They're against Satan. They're against Satan. I don't know. Is that what blasphemous means? I have no idea. It means you're hailing Satan. Sam Black's always hailing Satan. Uh, yo, it's your boy Leo says, press like when coming in the live. Space Whale says, hey guys, should I make a horror web series? Yeah, you should. Sam Black says, all my t-shirts have inverted crosses on them. DTN2 Horror says, David out. Looking forward to Coast to Coast this weekend. DTN2 Horror, I'm really going to try and make it on that Coast to Coast live stream. I want to rate the Halloween series. I want to rate the Halloween series. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, One of them is very rude. Can't say it on here because there might be Catholic in here. Don't say it, Foxy Lady. Especially in your voice. Sam Black says, exactly. We have a part two, Jason. It says part two. It says Friday the 13th. It's a silhouette of Jason with an axe. It's got a canoe. It says the body count continues. On the back, it has pictures of Jason. It has mother's head.
And inside, it's a sackhead Jason from part two. It's got a pickaxe. It's got a machete. It's got a pitchfork. It's got a fire pit. It's got the fire. It's got a Jason with a sack head. It's got unmasked Jason. It's got Pamela Voorhees' head. So I'll show you all that stuff right now. Sorry about the glare. That is part two. I have a request from Slay Not V1. I will try and find his channel right now and sub to him. Slay not V1. Slay knit. It's slay not V1. Slay Not V1, 139 subscribers, my guitar pick, collection rooms, tour, horror bathroom videos. I'm already subscribed to your channel, Slay Not V1. I watch your videos. So everyone else who's not already subscribed to Slay Not V1, make sure to go check out his channel. Sub to Slay Not V1. I fills creepy videos. I'm already a subscriber. Uh, DTN2 Horror, if you're a special guest, I am in there on Coast to Coast this Saturday. Because I wouldn't want to miss that. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, laughing my ass off. Ed says, I'm expecting that Jason figure. That's amazing. Slay Not V1 says, thanks. Smiling face with tea. Sam Black, just sub Slay Not TV One channel. Slay Not TV One, you rule. You guys won't be disappointed with my collection. Yeah, I like your collection. It's a good one. Next, we have Friday the 13th, the remake. Friday the 13th, the remake. It's Friday the 13th. It's the remake. It's got some pictures on the back. It says, a group of young adults discover a boarded up Camp Crystal Lake where they soon encounter Jason Voorhees and his deadly intentions. It's Jason from the remake. It's got a sack head. It's got a Jason head. It's got an axe. It's got a machete. It's got a, I don't know, is that a poker and a screwdriver and another hand? I don't know what it's got. It's got crazy stuff, guys. It's the remake Jason Voorhees. Excuse me, Madame Zaymon Sewers. So there you go, guys. That is Remake Jason Voorhees Ultimate. He has a really ugly mug without his mask on. Nasty. A face only a mother could love. Uh, where are we here? Q's review says just subbed as well. Slay not TV one. Happy face. Sam Black says, which version do you think is best, Phil? Original Jason or the remake version? Well, the original Jason is just the little boy in the lake. Is that what you're talking about? I prefer the original Jason look of Jason compared to the remake. Slay Not V1 says, I can't wait for part 7 Ultimate. I hope we get a part 4, 7, Freddy vs. Jason and remake retros next year. Quentin says, I really enjoyed the remake. Me too, Quentin. I love the remake. It's a go-to of mine for sure.
I love the uh, whole, I think it's like 13 or 14 minute intro before the credits even roll. That whole intro is just gold. Yeah, love it. Uh, now we got a Halloween. This is from the 2018 Halloween, and it says includes light up flickering pumpkin. Halloween 2018 ultimate Michael Myers light up pumpkin. It's lighting up. There's pictures of Michael Myers on the back. There he is right there. It says Halloween. Let's read it. I don't even care. It's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. Now she faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield, Illinois. But this time, Laurie is ready for him. Includes knife, hammer, fire poker, tombstone, victim head, light up pumpkin, interchangeable head and hands. And there is all you get here. Sorry about that. There's the little light up pumpkin. Some hands. Etc. Etc. 2018. Michael Myers. Halloween. Uh, Anthony Segama says, Me Too Q's Reviews. Sam Black says, Only seen Friday the 13th once. That is blasphemy. Slay Not V1 says, I wish they did a part two to the remake. So do I. Quentin says, Agreed. Love the opening to the remake of Friday the 13th. Agreed. Sam Black says, That's cool. Interweb Keiju says, I don't really remember the remake, like how the jack-o'-lantern has heart eyes. It does in the remake. Sam Black says, might have to get me one of those. Next, we have Halloween 2 OG. This is the original Halloween 2, not Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. There is the nice VHS cover artwork. You have the Skull Pumpkin, a.k.a. Quentin's new profile pic. It says Ultimate Michael Myers. It says Halloween 2. There's pictures on the back. It says Halloween 2 again. There's a write-up. Let's read it. While Sheriff Brackett and Dr. Loomis hunt for Michael Myers, a traumatized Lori is rushed to hospital, and the serial killer is not far behind her. The pumpkin opens up to reveal a skull. It's got the crying eyes mask. It's got the blonde-haired guy's mask who gets hit by the ambulance. Whose name I always forget. There's the pumpkin. Ben Tramer. Yeah, Ben Tramer mask. Comes with a Ben Tramer mask. Thank you, Quentin. You're always helping my old age brain think of things. I almost said Devon Graham, but that's from part one. Devon. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? Ed 
says, I hear that they are going to make a Chucky TV series. Yes, they are. Quentin says, my favorite out of the franchise, Slay Not V1. I enjoyed the first Rob Zombie Halloween. The second one, not so much. Sam Black says, VHS, I can remember when we had Betamax video. I remember Betamax. <clears throat> Quentin says Ben Tramer. Interweb Keiju says the first two Halloweens are my favorite horror movies after the first Scream. Blech. Not a huge Scream fan. We have, what is this? Pennywise the Dancing Clown. It's a big box. I'd still call it an ultimate. I don't know. This one comes with a light-up head. Light-up head. It comes with the flute lady's head. The head with all the arms coming out of his mouth. And the big spider arms. Y'all know what it is. It's Pennywise. He comes with a uh, dead light's head. Look into my dead light's. And then the arms coming out of his mouth head. Here's the flute lady or whatever her name is. I think it's the flute lady. Pretty good looking figure. Uh, he'll just stay in the box. Where he belongs. We're almost done, guys. We got four more, including this one. This is a Bride of Chucky. I would call it an ultimate. Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany. It says, Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany. The world's most notorious doll is back on the rampage, but this time he's met his match, his old flame Tiffany, who, with marriage in mind, rescues his parts from a police impound and breathes new life into the little guy. But will she still want his homicidal heart after he cuts her down to his size? So begins a hilarious new adventure filled with gruesome splatter, murderous mayhem, and laughs galore. Includes six interchangeable heads, two pistols, two shovels, two knives, axe, baby, baster, bottle, necklace, and more. I don't know why it says baby. I don't see a baby. But whatever. It's a very, very cool ultimate Chucky set. It comes with uh, everything Bride of Chucky comes with a wedding dress head and the alternative head, a turkey baster. There's a little, I think this is what they refer to as the baby, which is the uh, specimen jar. Whole bunch of hands, couple arms. You got Chucky here. You got a gun. You have a whole mess of heads. Four extra heads. Crazy, crazy, crazy Bride of Chucky set. I love, love, love this one. It has a whole bunch of pictures on the back. There are some pictures. Just a little reminder, everyone. If you're one of the 16 people still watching this live stream and you have yet to smash that thumbs up button, please do so now and just smash the thumbs up button. I will appreciate you if you do that. Thank you so much. Uh, where are we here? Joe Roop is in the house. Welcome, Joe. He says, what's up, creepy Phil? Not much. Just chilling Thursday uh, afternoon. Q's review says Ben Tramer is mentioned in the first film when Lori in the car with her friend. Yes, 
Psycho Seb says, hey, Phil, master of horror. Thank you so much, Psycho Seb. I like that moniker. Psycho Seb says, the ultimates are a way to go for sure. I agree. Halloween Fiend PDX says, damn, those damn Pennywise figures. I was only going to get two, but ended up getting six of them, I think. Ha ha. I know your pain. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, that is cool. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, good film. Q's Review says, I greatly apologize. I do have to go out. We'll catch the rest of this later tonight. Very awesome collection, bro. Take care all. Quentin, thank you so much for stopping on by. I appreciate you greatly. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, already done it, Phil. Uh, okay. And Sam Black says, take care, Q's Reviews. Oh, you've already smashed the like button. Thank you so much, Foxy Lady Outdoors. Thank you for being so foxy and ladylike. Sam Black says, take care, use reviews. Would I classify this as an ultimate? Yep. This is... The Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn Ultimate Edition. It says there's only one movie scarier than the Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2, kiss your nerves goodbye. And it says, after a relaxing cabin vacation doesn't go as planned, Ash is left with three dead friends an undead girlfriend, and an angry evil spirit on the loose as nightfall approaches. Ash must prepare to, again, battle the legions of the damned if he wants to make it to dawn. This clums, clums? This clums with a plethora of things. There are some pictures on the back. There are some things. There is a thing. Here are things. It's an Evil Dead 2 Ultimate. Comes with a deer head. Crazy head that splits in half, revealing brains. You got, what's his name's figure? Paul, I think, maybe. You have the Necronomicon blade. You have the boomstick. You got ash. You got a bloody axe or chainsaw or something there. Chainsaw. You got a deer head. You have so much stuff. You got three ash heads. And it says. Includes shotgun. Dagger. Book of the dead. Possessed deer head and interchangeable heads. Uh, Psycho Seb says, Oh, that Evil Dead 2 pack is groovy. Wish they made an Army of Darkness one. They probably will. Swaggy Duck, awesome YouTube channel name. Uh, yeah, Swaggy Duck, welcome to my channel. Who's hyped for the Creep Show figure? I am. I actually picked up the, uh, where is he? The Creep Show pop figure. But I know they are bringing out a, I think it's a retro cloth Creep Show figure. Uh, Psycho Sep says, I had to get two, one to open, one to keep in the box. Eh. Swaggy Duck says, I keep mine in the box. Me too. Dave Drew says, where is Kirkstall Abbey? Kirkstall Abbey. No idea what that means. Ed says, I like that Freddy Krueger poster. Uh, it's not a poster. It's a wooden board. It's like a poster. It's those wooden boards that Jumbo Video used to sell. Uh, 
Kirkstall Abbey is a monastery in Leeds, England. Uh, Leeds, England, Dave Drew, is where Kirkstall Abbey is. Uh, Ed says, I like that Freddy Krueger poster. Wooden posters. I got four of them, all from Jumbo Video. One, two, three, four. They're made of wood, and they're about half an inch thick, and they are got the picture printed on them, and then they're high-glossed. So they look kick-ass. Uh, Sam says Leeds West Yorkshire. Michael Myers says awesome. Michael Myers says you're the best YouTuber. I highly doubt that, but thank you so much. Dave Drew says Foxy Lady Knows. Michael Myers says you're better than PewDiePie. I've never watched PewDiePie, so I have no idea. Foxy Lady Outdoors says Kirkstall Abbey is on my videos. Dave Drew says okay, gotta go steady by all. See you, Dave. Be good. Sam Black says we live 10 minutes away from Kirkstall Abbey. That's amazing. Michael Myers, I mean, in my opinion. Well, you are definitely entitled to your opinion, and I am definitely entitled to like your opinion. So I like your opinion. Almost done with these ultimates, guys. Then I will have a little intermission. See, I wouldn't call this one an ultimate because they are retro cloth figures. I don't think it says ultimate. It just says alien two pack. It's the they live alien two pack. It is from the movie they live from John Carpenter. It says... They influence our decisions without us knowing it. They numb our senses without, without us feeling it. They control our lives without us realizing it. They live. A rugged loner stumbles across a terrifying discovery. Ghoulish creatures are masquerading as humans while they lull the public into submission through subliminal advertising messages. Only specially made sunglasses make the deadly truth visible. They Live, one of my all-time favorite movies. Great head sculpts on these. I wish they were Ultimates. I don't love the fabric clothing. I do not collect retro cloth figures, but every once in a while, a set like this comes out, which makes me buy it, even though it's retro cloth. Comes with the Obey television, which is awesome. Comes with the Obey magazine and the Buy newspaper. It comes with pictures on the back. And last but not least, we have another... Retro Cloth 2 pack. This is the Hitchhiker Nubbins Collector set from the original TCM. There's Nubbins. There's the Hitchhiker. They are Retro Cloth figures. They come with their little satchels there. I know you can't really see it, it comes with a camera. Pretty nice looking text Chainsaw Massacre set there, guys. Let me know what you think in the chat. It says, who will survive when five friends on a road trip cross paths with a demented family of cannibals? Nubbins, the hitchhiker, is the first member of the Sawyer clan to appear, with his brother Leatherface close behind, and a bizarre bloodbath begins. Although Nubbins meets a gory end, his mortal remains are welcomed back into the Sawyer family and become a puppet-like pal for his older brother, Chop Top. So there you go, guys. Chop Top is the hitchhiker's brother. And Nubbins is the hitchhiker's skin... 
that Leatherface proudly wears in part two and Chop Top plays with in part two. It's his brother's skin. Look what your brother done to the door. Nice sculpt on uh, the hitchhiker's face there. If that is showing up, I don't know what I'm showing off here. I think you guys can see that okay. Ah. Uh. Michael Myers says, do you know where I can find the Bride of Chucky Ultimate for a good price? Probably still available if you just Google Bride of Chucky Ultimate NECA. Just Google it and then start looking at prices and then the cheapest one, click it. Sam Black says, try eBay. Sam Black says, or Amazon. Michael Myers says, okay, I'll see. Slay Not V1 says, the retros are awesome. I wish NECA would make an 03 and 06 Leatherface. I agree with that. Michael Myers says, yeah, in a 2019 Chucky, that would be awesome. Anthony says, yes, this is one of the best. Michael Myers says, nice figures. Sam Black says, pretty awesome. Michael Myers says, what's the rarest piece in your collection? Uh, probably the Jason on the bed. Dave Drew says, oh, I came back. Okay, I came back. I can't study no more. Psycho Seb says, I arrived a bit late. Do you have any Gremlins Ultimates, Phil? No. I uh, didn't collect the Gremlins Ultimates. I do like the movie Gremlins. But it's just not the right fit for my collection. And they take up too much real estate as it is. There you go, Ed. There's Bride of Chucky figures at Target. Go in or order it. And I know I have a trick-or-treat Zam figure in here somewhere. Where is it? All right, no lie, this is the last, okay, maybe there's one more after this one. This is the Sam Trick or Treat Ultimate NECA. This is brand new-ish. I like how the uh, packaging on this one is kind of a metallic. It has pictures on the back of my favorite or one of my favorite characters, Sam. It says, the doorbell rings, the cry goes out, trick or treat, but wait, what's actually going on during the ghostly All Hallows Eve? Something eerie and unexpected. Something splattered and spooky. Something that brings ghouls, vampires, and werewolves in the night. Answer the door, a shocking surprise awaits. It is Ultimate Sam. He comes with a sack head, an unmasked Sam, another unmasked Sam, a light up pumpkin, another pumpkin, and his little sack of candy, or is it body parts? I don't know. It is the ultimate Sam. Somebody in the chat was asking about if I had the ultimate trick or treat Sam. Of course I do. Sam, one of my all time horror uh, icons. He's basically, you know, this generation's kind of horror icon or the newest horror icon. And I thought I showed them all, but there's one hanging on the wall over here. That I hardly ever show off. So I will show him off today. He is the Chucky Ultimate. Good guy, Chucky. And 
and there's actually one more after this one. And then that's it. Then it's a pee break. There's pictures on the back. And this one comes with a part three head, a part two head, a part one head. And I do have this one out of box as well. So I will show it off once I hang this back up. But there he is. I'm your friend till the end. It's Chucky. So that's another ultimate. And here's how I have them. I have them with the part three head sculpt, which is amazing. And all his accessories are actually in a little in the box. So no accessories that I displayed him with, but I just wanted him out of the little box. and He looks pretty cool. He stays up on the shelf. I promise this is the last one, guys. This is the TCM Ultimate. It's just hanging on the wall over here. I kind of forget that I do have a couple Ultimates hanging on the wall. Who will survive and what will be left of them? This is the tragic tale of five young friends who venture into rural Texas one hot afternoon and become victims in one of the most bizarre and brutal crimes in Travis County history. Many of them meet a horrific end at the hands of the murderous lunatic Leatherface in what comes to be known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. America's most bizarre and brutal crimes. It comes with a pretty woman mask. It comes with leather face. It comes with a chainsaw. It comes with a meat cleaver and a knife. And an apron. Pants are plastic, so I'll still consider it an ultimate, even though he does have a fabric-looking apron. TCM ultimate. And uh, I'm going to go on break now. Uh Halloween Fiend PDX says, Gremlins is another dangerous thing. Ha ha. I wasn't going to get any, but ended up getting a few, including that new SDCC one. Psycho Seb says, Halloween Fiend PDX. Oh, definitely the little buggers are taking up five shelves in my collection. Ed says, it's okay, Phil. Michael Myers says, I wish they made a Pamela Voorhees Ultimate. That would be cool. Slay Not, Slay Not B1 says, no gremlins for me. I do have the life-size NECA's flasher gremlin. That's amazing. Beautiful fetching Rose is in the house. She says hello, wave. Beautiful fetching Rose says YouTube. Beautiful fetching Rose says oh. Slay not V1 says oh and I have a brain from cult classics icons. Oh and I have brain from cult classics icons. Okay. Oh, the brain gremlin. That's cool. Beautiful fetching rose says brave host rare people like that stuff. Sunglasses muscle. Sam Black says break time. Nora kills clan says hey I can go. 
Hey, I can to this channel from your trick or treat Sam Ultimate figure. I love your collection. Thank you so much, Nova Kills Clan. You are amazing. Everyone, go check out Nova Kills Clan. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Michael Myers says, What's your favorite horror film of all time? It is The Exorcist. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, Yeah, Sam, make me a coffee. Yeah. Psycho Seb says, gotta go for a cigarette and watch film by Phil. See you, Psycho Seb. Dave Drew says, coffee, not a Londa literate. Londa literate is in the live stream. She says, hi, Phil. Hi, Londa. Welcome to my live stream. Dave Drew says, not tea. Ed says, I gotta go, peace. See you later, Ed. We will leave you with Annabelle today, guys. It'll be a nice little Annabelle once the lights turn off. Let's see if we can have her looking right at you. There. Nice. A nice, a nice uh, little Annabelle. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll put her up just a little bit more. There, we'll let her keep you company for three minutes and 147 seconds whilst I take a quick pee break and other things.
Annabelle goes back on the shelf. Creep goes back in the pile of pops, which I'm so freaking done with pops, I tell ya. I did not pee or poo, but I'm gonna hand sanitize anyway with my zombies hand sanitizer just in case there's a zombie outbreak. I want to be safe. All right. Ed says, I got to go. Peace. See you, Ed. Thanks for swinging by. Sam Black says, Coffee, yuck. That's blasphemous. Slay Not V1 says, Yes, Brain Gremlin. Michael Myers says, Love that shirt. Thank you so much. Halloween trick or treat mashup shirt. Wanda Literate coming in with a soup, 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 soup. Super $20 super chat, Wanda Literate. She comes in with a blow a heart kiss, blow a heart kiss. $20 super chat, Londa. I tell you, thank you so much. You are amazing. A $20 super chat, uh, amazing. Dave Drew says, T point. Michael Myers says, I'm going to leave at 135, but I'm going to watch till then. You are awesome. It's 139 now, so you're probably gone. Michael Myers says, watch Annabelle move. Slay Not V1 says, the Mezco Designer Series figures are awesome. I got the Nun the other day. I also love the Mega Scale figures. The Nun is awesome. I watched DTN2 Horrors video. He showcases the Mezco MDS The Nun. The MDS I have are both Jason's, the regular and the entertainment exclusive Glow in the Dark Bloody, the Freddy, the Michael Myers, the Reagan Exorcist, the Annabelle, the new Pennywise, both Chucky's, and the Sam Mezco designer series michael myers says i gotta go i'm sorry no problem michael myers see you later dave drew says see you michael phil's creepy video says hate that i have to watch ads to get into my own live streams lol mushroom hill says is phil on the toilet i was not Sam Black message retracted. Sam Black message retracted. Sam Black says hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Sam Black says good man. Dave Drew says any of darkness starting now? I'm sure he means army of darkness. Slay not B1 says pops are addicting. I lost track of how many pops I have. I have way too many pops and they take out way too much real estate. I'm thinking about just unloading all my pops for money. But I don't know if I will do that or not. Londa Literate says back. Thank you so much, Londa, for the super chat. I did shout you out quite a little bit for that. And uh, I appreciate you. Sam Black says, I got five pops. That's amazing. What five pops you got, Sam? I mean, if you only have five, they better be high quality pops. They best be some high quality pops there. Dave Drew says, shop smart, shop S smart. Yes, 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 you gotta shop smart, you gotta shop S smart. Army of Darkness. Love Army of Darkness. Dave, I will show you my Polystone Army of Darkness 10 pound 3D poster replica, which I hardly take off the shelf just because it's too damn heavy and awkward. 
But for you, Dave, I will show it off. There it is there, Army of Darkness, 3D polystone statue, weighs about 10 pounds. It is relief. Trapped in time, surrounded by evil, low on gas. You got the little ashes at his feet there, poking him with a fork. He's standing on an old tire. You have the uh, Army of Darkness title. You have all the credits underneath. An evil deadite statue there. Of course, the lady love of his life. And Ash, the man himself. Army of Darkness, 10-pounder, polystone, poster, replica. You can hang it on the wall, but I never would because I don't trust 10 pounds hanging on the wall. You can open this up and stand it like that, but I don't trust this because it's just a little piece of string. But lucky, luckily, it just sits very nicely like that because it is flat on the bottom so this big bad boy just sits on my shelf and looks cool i will put him back without breaking anything i hope he is back guys he is back Sam Black says, three guns and roses, one devil, and one stormtrooper. That is amazing. Solid pops right there. I have a Kurt Cobain pop. Which was an impulse buy, Hot Topic exclusive, Kurt Cobain pop. Don't know why I bought it, but I did. I have no idea where it is. It's in my pop pile somewhere. Dave Drew says, clop, 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 slay not V1. If you want to make space for your pops, use a spice rack. It's a good idea. Where do I make room for a spice rack? N. D. T. The NDT Show. Hello, Phil's Creepy Videos. What's up, Nathan? Glad you stopped in my chat today we got 19 minutes guys so occupy yourself for 19 minutes or ask me questions or tell me what to show off please please tell me what to do tell me how to live my life Everything is blowing around. I do not know why. Well, actually, I do. It's because my fan's on. and I have little pieces of paper that are light. Uh, NDT Show says, LOL, awesome. Michael Myers is back. Welcome back, Michael. Dave Drew says, let's see your Ash Chainsaw. I do not have an Ash Chainsaw. Michael Myers says, what's your favorite Stephen King horror film? Hmm, my favorite Stephen King horror film. I like The Night Flyer. I like Sleepwalkers. I like Cat's Eye.
I like it, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. Uh, let's look at the I like Misery. I like Cujo. I like Graveyard Shift. I like Needful Things. But yeah, Night Flyer and Sleepwalkers are probably close to the beginning of the pack. I like Carrie. Creep Show. Gotta love Creep Show. Too many to name just one, but Sleepwalkers, Night Flyer, and Creep Show. Sam Black says, if we go back into local lockdown, I don't think we'll be moving anytime soon. You gotta move, Sam. NDT Show says, love the sleepwalkers. You're incredible, Nathan. I love the sleepwalkers as well. Michael Myers says, I like all those. I like all those. Yeah, sleepwalkers. I have the big sleepwalkers bust. Love that bust. Love that bust. Anything else? Very good question, by the way. Charlie's Angel. Charlie's Angel. Sam Black says, I think Misery is awesome. Misery is a go-to for me. I love watching Misery. I think it's fantastic. NDT Show says, I heard there was a Creep Show show on Shudder. Anyone seen it yet? Yes, NDT Show. I've watched every episode of the new Creep Show TV series, and it's okay. Uh, it doesn't have the nostalgia feeling as the original Creep Show movie did, but they did okay with it. I think there might be a Series 2 coming, Season 2, if it's not out already. Slaynot V1 says, thanks for letting me know that there's a bloody MDS. Jason, I just bought one. Happy face! Yeah, the glow-in-the-dark one. That's bloody. I will show it off to you now. I have a light. This is the bloody, you got blood splatter on the mask. You got blood on the axe and the shirt. You got blood on the pants and the shoes. You got a mask. And a very, very, very bright light. Oh, can't even look at it. I'm going blind. And not in the good way. Just charge that mask up a little bit and turn out these lights here. And yeah, he glows really, really good. So I'm sure you, you can all see the glow on this guy. Like I said, he glows really, really, really good. He doesn't really glow for a very long time, but it's the quality of the glow when first charged up. It's like a, a light almost. <laughs> very, very, very cool glow. You can see him glow in the dark. He looks cool. Uh, awesome that you scored one. I thought they were sold out on Entertainment Earth's website, but if you scored an exclusive right now, that is amazing. Now he looks like he's glowing on my shelves.
Foxy Lady Outdoors says, yes, Sam, otherwise I will go psycho on these neighbors, lol. Michael Myers says, the thing I love about Misery is that it's really entertaining and some parts can also be disturbing. I agree with that. Michael Myers says, really funny. NDT Show says, I'm searching for a They Live mask, but where's the best place to search online? Best place to search online is probably Google. You just Google they live mask, hit search. Usually listings will come up. Check the listings for prices to see if they are available somewhere. And then just click on whatever price you're comfortable with. WIIC TV channel 11 says, hey, everybody, welcome to my channel, channel 11. Sam Black retracts a message. Channel 11 says that's a pretty bright glow for sure. Yes, it is for sure. Sam says, I think Kathy Bates played one of her best roles in Misery. I agree. I also really like Kathy Bates in Dolores Claiborne, another Stephen King movie, if you have yet to see Dolores Claiborne, do yourself a favor and watch Dolores Claiborne. Channel 11 says, I agree, Sam. Michael Myers says, it's like a flashlight. Michael Myers says, yep. Slay Not V1 says, that is awesome. I love glow-in-the-dark figures. Slay Not V1 says, I love. Michael Myers says, where do you think you're going, Mr. Man? Kathy Bates in misery. Sam Black says, yeah, that was a good film. Film, film, film. It was a good film. Twas a good film. Waxworks, waxworks. The H Man Battle in Outer Space. Mantra, 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 mantra. Eureka, new releases from Eureka. Eureka, Eureka. Uh, Horror Freak London is in the house. Welcome to my live stream. Horror Freak London, you are now modded because you are cool. Uh, he says, well, late to the party. Hi, Phil. Anyway, hi back to Horror Freak London. I hope you are well. Channel 11, I just watched Waxwork on Tubi. Waxwork is awesome. I do have the figure for Waxwork. I will show you now Channel 11 just because you are new to my channel. Watched Romero's The Crazies yesterday and I forgot how much I love it compared to the remake. Yes, I was not a huge fan. Of the Crazies remake. But it is what it is. This is my waxwork statue from Nameless Media. Gifted to me by Ollie Uncut in Germany. It has the stairs. It has the little come on in guy. It has the title Waxwork Engraved. And it has two pillars in which is housed the media book. We will just set that there. This is the Waxwork Media Book. Nice slip cover there. Nice artwork there. Inside, you have some front cover art. You have the media book. Tells you everything you want to know about waxwork. Great pictures there. And then the Blu-ray. 
And the media book just slides into the slip case, which then slides into the columns of the statue, creating the front door of the waxwork building. The waxwork statue, nameless media, sold out, limited to... I think this was 222, but I'm not too sure. This is not a toy for decoration only. 2017 Nameless Media Productions made by Nameless Limited Edition. Pretty sure it's 222. I wonder if it says on this. Uh, my correction, it is limited to 333. So it is a 333. I have number 37. Which is pretty close to the beginning of the run. So I like that. So number 37 of 333 worldwide. They are sold out. Unfortunately, all right. Michael Myers says, Just picked up the ultimate Terminator figure. It's really cool, by the way. Nice set. Thank you so much. Channel 11 says, wow, I didn't know there was figures for it. There's not, just a statue from Nameless Media. NDT Show says, got a question. Would it be cheaper to buy a proton pack or build one? I know you have a little collection of the Ghostbusters stuff. Nice wax waxwork figure. I don't know, man. I've never looked into the cost of buying a proton pack. But I'm sure if you're crafty enough and you have ghostbusters on blu-ray you can pause scenes there's probably even uh youtube videos on how to build your own proton pack so i'd check that out first and see what they tell you channel 11 says that's great channel 11 says what a great way to display your video channel 11 says oh so it's sort of recent sort of Sam Black says, should have been 666, LOL. They do have releases that they've done, which are 666. Channel 11 says, thanks for showing Phil. No problem, Channel 11. If you, usually when people bring up a movie and I have something cool from that movie to show off, I will show it off in the chat just for basically whoever brought it up. So that was basically just for you, Channel 11. Channel 11 says, first time watching it. I hope you liked Waxwork Channel 11. It is one of my favorites. My favorite segment is the werewolf segment. I love the werewolf segment. SlayNotV1 says, okay, guys, I got to get going. It's been fun. Happy face. SlayNotV1 says, thanks again for showing off that, Jason. Happy face. No problem, man. I hope you get one. Channel 11 says, I really did enjoy it. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We got about five minutes left, guys. So if there's anything else you guys can think of in the last five minutes that you need me to talk about or show off, please let me know in the chat. Ah. Uh, See you later, Slay. I hope you have a good uh, good day, good rest of the day. Slay not V1. You are amazing. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, Channel 11 says, bye, Slay. Sam Black says, take care, Slay. Everyone's saying goodbye to Slay. Michael Myers says, I think I gotta go. Nice, creepy vid. Thank you so much, Michael Myers. Enjoy your day. I am going to head out to momentarily. I just want my timer to click past the two-hour mark. 
because for some reason, if it goes past two hours, it uploads quickly to my channel. And if it's under two hours, it takes about 12 hours for it to upload to my channel. YouTube algorithm, I tell ya. They need to get their stuff together and come correct or... Channel 11 says, I'm going to head off too. Sorry I came late, but nice talking with y'all for a bit. Channel 11, if you like great horror content, please sub to my channel if you're not already. And you can come back, watch this live stream over again. Catch what you missed. You can watch all of my videos. Channel 11 says, take care, Phil, and everyone else. Take care of yourself, Channel 11. Sam Black says, take care, Channel 11. Channel 11. Thank you so much, Channel 11. I will hunt your channel down right now and try and return the favor. Because that is the type of person I am. W-I-I-C. W-I-I-C. Dash. TV. Channel 11. WIIC TV Channel 11. 11 subscribers, 5 videos. Everyone, please help out Channel 11 and sub to his channel. He has an awesome Dawn of the Dead live stream video, Day of the Dead trailer, Dawn of the Dead trailer. He's got trailers on his channel, guys. He only has a few subscribers. Please go support your other local YouTubers with fewer subscribers than you. Because I know I was at 11 subscribers once, and I was like, yes, I got 11 subscribers. Uh, NDT Show says, Phil, you take care. You take care. And all in chat as well. Take care, NDT Show. Thanks for popping on by, Nathan. I appreciate you greatly. Channel 11 says I appreciate that. Everyone go support WIICTV Channel 11, please. And then, you know, once he has 200 subscribers, maybe he'll start putting out more content. Start making that content, Channel 11. Start shooting some vids, man. Because we will watch. I'm subscribed. I even hit the notification bell. So if you do post a video, I'm going to be notified. Yes, I think you should, Channel 11. That's a good idea. Take your time. Be confident. Shoot some videos. Show off anything. Anything you think your Channel 11 TV is worth showing off. Because I'll get a notification and I'll watch. I'll make time. All right, guys, we're 202.15. Thank you all to everyone who took time out of their day to watch my live stream today and listen to me ramble uh, mindlessly about NECA Ultimates. Also, thank you very much to everyone who gave me a Super Chat donation. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you love great horror content, please, please, if you haven't already, hit that sub button. It helps out with my channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified every time I go live or drop a new video. And uh, yeah, if you like this live stream, smash that thumbs up button. We have 38 likes right now. Sam Black says, right, Phil, good to see you again. Great stream as always. Take care, bro. Peace, peace. Channel 11 says, have a great day, everyone. Sam Black says, take care all in the chat. Foxy Lady Outdoors says, take care, Phil. Stay safe. And I agree with Sam Black. Take care all in the chat. Everyone who took time out of their busy lives, to come watch me, I appreciate each and every one of you. But for now, that's my time. 
Thanks for yours. Have a good one, guys. Peace.